Wagwan people, welcome back to another video. Welcome to Drummy Vibes. Yeah, Drummy Vibes family, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I tune my snare drum, all right? If you saw my last couple of videos, then you know I went on a little shopping trip to the music store and I got myself a couple of drum heads. Also, in a different video, I changed the top skin of my snare drum. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below so you can check those videos out, all right? And also, if you like these types of videos, feel free to hit that bell notification button and that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the good content I have coming your way. Yeah, let's get into it. Now, when you're tuning your snare drum, you're tuning it to your liking, to your feel. So when I tune this drum, I'm tuning it to what sounds good to me. And, you know, sometimes what sounds good to me might not sound good to you. So I want you to keep that in mind when you're tuning it. Tune it to your liking, what makes you feel comfortable, all right? Couple of things you need before you tune your drums. One, you need a drumstick. Two, a drum key. I usually use two drum keys because it helps me speed up the tuning process. So I'm gonna grab another drum key, all right? Now, before I go ahead and use these drum keys to tune the drum up, I'm going to use my fingers first and get the tension rod finger tight. All right, let's do it. All right, now that I got it finger tightened, I'm going to use my drum key and I'm going to go around the tension rods and I'm going to make sure that this tension rod is sitting flush against this rim right here. I'm not tightening it to tune it. I'm just making sure that the tension rod isn't loose. All right. All right, now that we got that tension rod sitting flush against the rim of the drum, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my drumstick and I'm going to grab my other drum key. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I start, I'm going to start on the tension rod closest to me and then I'm going to put my other drum key opposite to that and what i'm going to do set that right here oh, maybe i'll just set it right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a half turn on each all right and i'm gonna do that all the way around the drums i'm going to test it out if i don't like the sound i'm going to do it again tighten it bring it the bring the tone up some more and do that until I get the sound I like. Remember, you're tuning the drum to your sound. So whatever sound you get and you feel good with it, you stop there. All right, let's do it. All right, now I'm gonna test the drum out to hear what it sounds like. I think I need to go up a couple more. So, I'm gonna do a half turn again. I'm gonna do a half turn again. And I'm gonna go clockwise 
all the way around the drill. All right, let's test it out. Now, ah, still need to go up a couple more. Let's test it out. A little bit more. Let's try it again. A little bit more again. All right, let's test them out. I think we're getting there. All right, let's go a couple more times. That's better. All right, now when you get it to um, a certain tension or the sound you like, what I like to do is I like to put some a clean cloth in the middle of the skin or in the middle of the snare drum and I like to press down in it to make sure that the skin uh, sits over the shell properly. All right, if you hear a popping sound, don't worry about that, you're not, damaging the drum that's just the skin stretching to fit over the shell of your drum all right and as you do this you will realize when you hit your drum again the sound the the, the tone it's going to drop it's going to go down and then you just tweak it and bring it back up to where you like it all right let's give it a whirl there we go. All right, now what I like to do before I finish off, I like to fine tune the snare skin. So what I do, I you know release the snare and then I go around and I tap the edge of the drum and I try to listen and match, make sure everything is um, of the same tone, all right? So if I go like this, So that tone is lower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tune it and bring it up a little bit. All right. There we go. And bring it up. And I do that all the way around the drums. So. Need to bring that up some more. Bring that up some more. Bring that up some more. Oh, you bring this guy up some more. These two guys need to go up a little bit more. This guy needs to go up just a little bit. There we go. I think that's it. I got it where I like it. Now I'm going to test it out. I like it. I like it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my tuning of the snare drum. And I like the sound I'm getting. You know, like I said, the sound that I like might not be a sound for you. You might like a different sound which is why you tune that drum up or down, whatever makes you, whatever makes you feel comfortable, that's what you should go for, all right? You're looking for your sound. This is my sound, 
and this is what I like, so this is what I'm sticking with. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the snare tuning video. If you like this, leave a comment. Let me know what you do when you're tuning, tuning your snare drum and uh, what type of music you play. All right. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. And um, until next time, peace out. Yeah, man.